Hello Libras, welcome to the new week. I'm super excited to have you here today. So just a little disclosure as we begin, this is a general message. So go ahead and take what applies and while the rest of it, just let it fly and then catch me next week. Um, and as always, if you guys do want to go deeper with your reading and have a one-on-one -on -one session with me, the information to book with me is below in the caption. So let's go ahead and get started. So spirit please step forward for the libras and their highest and greatest good and please show me what is the divinely guided message that you have for the libras this week all right let's see oh bring it into form this is really i i love this oracle card simply because it shows that magic manifestation is happening but it also as we can see the bones i'm seeing strength I'm seeing determination. We don't see any footsteps going backwards. We only see them moving forward. It makes sense, especially with this full moon in Libra that we just had. You guys really might have been shining a light on what is next for you. So, Spirit, please step forward for the Libras and for their highest and greatest good. And can you please show me the divinely guided message that you have for the Libras this week? Spirit, can you please show me the divinely guided message you have for the Libras this week? Okay. Wow. So Libras, the first thing that's coming through is you. I mean, the message here is clear as day, Libra. You got to trust yourself. You got to trust your vision. You got to clear out all the bullshit. And you got to just run to the finish line. Let's talk about all of this. First things first is bring it into formation. As I was telling you guys, I'm seeing so much alchemy, so many mystical, magical things happen in here. This person is not going backwards. They are going forward. And you can even see the bones in their body. You can see the strength, the determination. Now, if we want to take it into numerology and we add the card up from 41, break it down 4 plus 1 equals 5. So change needs to occur. So if you want to bring something into formation, Libra, it's time to make a change. Now, first things first, I feel like you guys have been on this alchemy metaphysical manifestation tip for a minute. I feel like this is something you've been doing. Like, you are no stranger to manifesting, it feels like. However, I do believe that at some point along your journey, your manifestation turned into you proving to others what you can do instead of you proving it to yourself. And I believe that at this time, especially as we just passed the Libra full moon, I really believe that you are deciding that it's no longer about what anyone else thinks. It's truly about you. I feel like you're starting to realize where things went wrong. And if you guys have not yet figured this out, this week will show you exactly what it was or who it was, even if it was you that was standing in your way. Let me run that back. This week, Spirit will show you who or what was in your way, even if that person was you. So do be prepared for the truth to come out. And when it comes out, you have to be ready to act and not in a way that is emotional you have to approach everything this week with your logic it doesn't matter how emotional you may feel because you may really start to realize like yo like you can't come with me this can't come with me this thinking pattern can't come maybe this weight can't come there are certain things people places things that are going to have to be shed from you but even as they shed, spirit is showing there's still something left behind. Don't worry about necessarily what you're losing. Worry about what you're protecting. Worry about what you're gaining, what you already have so hard that you have to fight for. Because sometimes, Libra, I think when things don't go according to plan, you can become a victim. And whether you make yourself a victim or if you're actually a victim is something that's going to be addressed this week. And when the truth comes flying out, Libra, don't run from it. If anything, spirit wants you to face it head on. 
This isn't the time to doubt what you see. This is not the time to doubt yourself this week. If anything, this is the moment when spirit is saying your fears are worse in your head than they are in reality. So whatever is that you're afraid of, run towards it. Whatever you're fearing, face it. Yes, you are leaving certain things in the past, but you're not leaving your dreams in, your, in the past. You're not leaving your motivation in the past. You're not leaving your blessings in the past. If anything, you're releasing the weight so your boat can get to your destination faster where all of your blessings in abundance lie. This week is so big for you guys. Like I said, the Libra full moon that just passed on March 28th major for you guys you guys saw yourself in a completely different way and i'm sure especially because libra rules relationships and balance so i'm sure that you may have seen some people or things in your life that just doesn't work with where you're at at this time you're restructuring right now you're creating this new utopia for yourself and as you're creating this newness things have to change so don't worry about who you may let down. Don't worry about saying no. Choose you and put you first this week, Libra. You need you more than they need you. Because when you make sure you're okay, everybody's okay. So this is a big week to look in the mirror, to see what you have allowed, what you need to do, what you didn't do, who's in your life, who do you not want in your life. It's just a big time to reflect on you. And Spirit is saying that the things that you think you're afraid of, the things that you are fearing, they're not that bad. Go ahead and jump out on faith. Go ahead and bring whatever it is that you're wanting to manifest into fruition. Because if the, there was a time to do it, it's now. This is a strong week, Libra. Now let's see what words of encouragement Spirit has for you. Now, Spirit, please step forward for the Libras and for their highest and greatest good. And please show me what words of encouragement do you have for the Libras this week? The perfection of your life. So not only are you bringing your desires into form, make sure it makes sense. Make sure it's what you want. Make sure you are birthing the reality that you are craving, that your soul needs for your highest and greatest good. Because like I said, Libra, this week, you are going to be presented with the truth. And sometimes the truth can hurt. Sometimes the truth means you have to change things. And sometimes change can be uncomfortable. But whatever is facing you this week that may be uncomfortable, again, run towards it. You're creating your utopia right now. You will be blessed, not just for being a blessing, but for blessing yourself, for honoring yourself, for doing what's right. So I love you guys so much. I hope this helps. And as always, if you want to go deeper with your reading, you can book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Again, the information is below. And I, I love you guys again. I'll see you next week. Bye.